Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. How is everyone? Are you bored? Looks like I am, because I just want to play with some makeup. You can do the same. Anyway, today I'm gonna test a new eyeshadow palette. And this is from You Can Be, and it's called Spotlight. Well, I think it's new, anyway. And this is how it looks. You can see it has some gorgeous colors in. And if you want to see how I've made this makeup look, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so I've done one eye off camera. I've also done my eyebrows. And I've put on eye base. And this is from Revolution. I think this is shade light. Yeah. So I will make sure everything is blended before. I'm using a concealer brush. Tap this in. There's no creases. So, so, what I'm gonna use first is this one in here, this dark purple. And I'm gonna start with my outer corner. And I'm using quite a fluffy brush. And also, um, I forgot to mention, I am using one of these eyeshadow protectors. I like to cut them in half because basically this part I'm just gonna do it my own without using it. It's a bit uncomfortable under the eye to actually do it like how it is how how it is normally. Okay, so I'm starting with my outer V and tap this color in. It's gonna look crazy at the beginning. Fast process. Just tapping it, I'm not blending it yet. I'm gonna do that in a second. First, I just need to construct this color. Okay, next, I need to show you guys. I am using this really nice blue, it's a shimmer. I don't know how to describe it, it's um, not a purpley blue, it's more like a turquoise type of blue. I'm using uh, another brush and I'm gonna tap that in as well next to the purple and I'll go a bit upper than my normal crease because I have the ties and I have to hopefully these eyes will look similar Okay, so next color I'm going in is this more lighter blue in here and I have another brush for it. They used a eyeshadow base and I haven't set it. These colors will actually pop up and look really vibrant. Okay, and the next color I'm using is this matte yellow. This will go in my inner corner, kind of. And I have another brush for this. Okay, so not to blend everything in, I have like a fluffy blending brush. I already really used it, sorry if it's dirty. And I'm gonna use a lighter purple, this one. And I'm gonna blend, blend with this color, this eye look. 
I'm starting from the outer corner and I'm trying to use a light hand I'm still practicing on my techniques so bear with me guys Apparently on this side I went a bit upper with the blue so I will, I will fix it So I, I actually noticed the secret with this kind of eyeshadow look the colorful ones is just blend 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 if you want everything to look really nice at the end because if you don't it'll be a bit of a mess like now i'm going back with that deeper purple shade i first used so this one in here sorry this one in here and i'm taking my first brush i used for that deep purple I need to smoke this corner a bit more. So I blend out the corner with this brush. I'm trying to do circular motions and back and forth. But I'm not going really in, I'm just going like maybe till here, till here. I'm trying to keep it on the outer corner and I'm taking a bit more of that purple and I build more this outer corner I mentioned guys I'm not a makeup artist I just checked I, I tried these techniques basically see if they work and who bought it since now? Okay, so I'm going back with the blue. First blue I used, so it's this one here. And I'm taking the other brush. It faded a bit. I'm tapping it first You went into my purple, why? Why you went into my purple? Okay, and next I'm using the other shade of blue, which is this one. Okay, and last is that matte yellow. pigmented for a matte yellow I know sometimes this I know a yellow shade it can be quite problematic so it's, it's quite a nice color and pigmented and it's a cheap palette as well it's a drug store palette that I wouldn't expect to perform this well I mean there is a lot of fallout but the pigment is there for sure okay so gonna hurt now at least I'm gonna wipe this bit out which is not looking really nice and then um, I'm gonna go again with that purple I'm using the eyeliner brush 
And I think the secret of it is, is to work it a bit. So I'm using my cream, nothing. And then tap it in the powder. Tap out the excess. You need to take your time with, with this type of look because it takes time. But hey, we're still in lockdown. We have time. Why not? It's not like we're going anywhere. But I just decided to play with some, with some makeup. Okay, so I'm doing on half of it, half of my lower lash. You can actually hear it. Okay, and next, I am using a eyeliner. Oh, come on. And this is from Rimmel London, Scandalize. And it's a purple shade, but it says purple. So I'm gonna use this on the lower lash line where I put purple as well. In my waterline, and also on top of the powder. And if I need, which I will, I'm going to put a brush. I will go back and tap the powder on top of the eyeliner. Build it up. Okay, so I'm going to wipe this brush, this color off. Because I'm going with a blue shade on the other half of the blue lash. So the other part is this color in here, this blue. Again, for this bit, I also have the eyeliner. This is from Revolution for it's called the Visionary in the shade Azure. Mm -hmm. Oops, wrong end. This is how it looks like. This one is a more a like an electric blue. It's not like this blue for sure. It's more like a purple blue. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go and finish the rest of my face, my foundation and everything. I'm gonna pop in some lashes and I'll be right back with the finish look.
Okay guys, so this is the finished look. What do you think? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!